moving right along with the concept of area. We should deal with area in the Euclidean plane because that's where we're most familiar. In the Euclidean plane, the only thing we postulate is what the area of a rectangle is. The only thing we postulate in Euclidean geometry is what the area of a rectangle is. The area of rectangle ABCD is the product of the lengths AB and BC. That is the only thing we postulate. Clearly, we will not postulate this in hyperbolic geometry because there are no rectangles in hyperbolic geometry. But in Euclidean geometry, we postulate that the area of a rectangle is the product of what we would call its width and its length. Everything else falls from that. So when I go to think about the area of a right triangle, I think to myself, well, gee whiz, that's a rectangle. So I'm pretty sure that the area of right triangle, oh, let's write it using Venom as notation, Alpha of triangle ABC is one half times AB times BC if angle ABC is right. I mean that's that's kind of straightforward. What is less straightforward is well what happens if the triangle is not a right triangle? How do we find the area of triangle ABC in general? Now, you know this, but can you get there from here? Can you get to there from that result? And that's something you should probably know how to do. In fact, there are some other things you should probably know how to do. You should probably know why the area of a parallelogram is, let's see, well, you're going to have to figure that one out now, aren't you? Uh, it's BC times the height to BC, the altitude from A down to BC. Can you prove that? Uh, in fact, can you prove based on that, that if I have some trapezoid, that the area of a trapezoid is whatever it is that you learned from high school. So drop a perpendicular to some point E. It's PE over 2 times PT plus AR. Can you justify that? Do you know why that is? Okay. Um, then the rest of the section, Venema just talks about the Pythagorean theorem, which is really nice. Uh, gives some area-based arguments for the Pythagorean theorem, which you ought to be aware of. He also lays out as a theorem, and I'm not going to prove it, just for the sake of time. But he lays out this really interesting theorem. And it says, well, let's backtrack. The Pythagorean theorem says, if I put a square on here, that's not a square, and a square on there, that's sort of a square, and a square on there, then a squared plus b squared is c squared. That's what the Pythagorean theorem says. But we could prove something much stronger. We could prove that if we were to put any right triangles out here, 
or any triangles at all on there. And if this triangle is similar to this triangle is similar to this triangle, then the area here is the same as the area here plus the area here. It doesn't just work if you put squares on there. It works if you put any right tri any triangles at all on those segment ends. Uh, just a nice thing to know, a curious thing, uh, a property they don't teach you when you're in school for sure. Uh, the proof of it is not too bad, and you can probably read that. It's not the kind of thing that we're going to ask you about on Jeopardy. I would be much more likely to ask you uh, on an exam something like this or something like this, where we're just using properties and building from them. Okay, so there, uh, that's area in Euclidean geometry and how we use it.